stop, and the gate is down. Wide and Tomax got exactly where he wants it up from here. Motorsport.com whole shot already going off to Tomac. Wow, up the inside and still launches it. Whoa, has anyone jumped that thing from the right behind bag and in fourth? So at least we got all the players up near the front. So this should be uh, fun to watch. No, I don't like being passed, especially on the opening lap. So he's going to come right back at Hurlings. Different lines there. Same thing for these guys. The tracks changed up a fair bit from practice and qualifying earlier. Hurlings riding for Red Bull KTM, their uh, World Championship GT team. Actually, that's Trey Kennard's bike. They come down this new boulevard section, we've been oh. calling it. Muska. Muska just scrubbed that jump on the inside of the uh, back of it. But still relatively tight. You can tell Hurlings has that pace. Tomac trying to go with them. That's Mac. It's right back. Trying to challenge Hurlings oh. the lead. And that's exactly what he didn't want to have happen. Gotten by. I was just, I kid you not, I was just about to start. Now watch, as he lands, he's already landed over. He's on the brakes in that soft stuff. The front end tucks and then it's... W Ranch. But while he was here, he decided, why not go into Indiana and race? Because he had a DNF at the October, so why not go and take a risk and race today? But Marvin Muscan's got him in his sights. Marvin has been digging, digging, digging to close the gap. Ooh. And here he comes. Oh, Marvin wants it. Jeremy doesn't... Uh, Hurley doesn't want to give it up at all. Yes, the championship is somewhat in the balance, but as Roger DeCoster mentioned, the gap is so big. These three get Hurlings. Oh, he is trying. And Hurlings is pushing just equally as hard. Two riders that have had success in the 450 class. Hurlings looking for his first premier class world championship. Around the outside now, coming into this corner. Look at the fans. They're going crazy. This is the battle everybody wanted to see. How it feel? Baggett's still running some good lap times, but no one able to keep up with this, these guys' pace. They're hovering around the 209 range. Hurlings, but a much bigger one from Muscan. So Hurlings has a little bit of a gap to work with right now. Muscan tries to go back. Oh. We've talked about in the past. We've said, you know, Marvin is almost too technical, too smooth, and, and that may hurt that little raw speed. Will ride out of his comfort zone, and I think that's the difference why he's been able to uh, kind of find that next gear, that next level, and pick up. Yeah, dealing with some lap traffic. Saw Hurlings trying to duck the roost there. Crazy season, and it just keeps delivering. It doesn't get much crazier than bringing in a total wild card. Jeffrey Hurlings, a Thursday to ride press day himself, only got to ride 20 minutes then. So very little time on this motorcycle. One thing that a lot of European riders definitely struggle with when they come to the Nationals is the heat. This has got to be the coolest day. I want to say cool, you remember, let's not forget, these guys are in great shape. And then GPs, they actually do a lot of more riding on a weekend. You know, on Saturday they got practice, another big practice. And Barsha to challenge him from the American side in the MXGP class. Jeffrey Hurlings does it! He wins his first ever moto! I mean, uh, you know, I had the balls to come out here and come to the American-owned soil. So, uh, not many did that in Europe. But, you know, I'm super happy, you know. First, a damn first moto win. So, uh, hope to have a good second moto and uh, finish off a good weekend. And revs are up. The gate is down for the last time this year. Hurlings a bad start. He got squeezed off. And yeah, Sealy in yep. second, so good start for him. Moose getting there, also near the front. This guy has to win in order to win the championship. Yep. Meaning, Tomac has to ha not get points. Down there with him, Sam Redman, also down on the 401, as Tomac closes in on Craig for eighth. He's in an awkward situation because he's now mid-packed. Basically, if you stay here, you're champion. Uh, you know, a uh, ego battle, a little bit. But uh, now it's different. Hurling's the one going, ah, oh, charging through. I kind of expect Hurling to pass Tomac and then start moving on. He has a look over scrubs mm. and takes a tear off. Interesting. And give him the ninth place spot. And here comes Hurling's continuing to work his way forward now on Craig. Tear off, look, scrub. Ooh, little intimidation right there. And he takes away ninth. We continue to watch. This is the Hurlings watch as he keeps going forward. He's got around Webb fourth. Vogel is last week's winner at Bud's Creek. Hurlings running the outside. Going to get a great drive down this long straight. He now scrubs it. He's got the inside on uh, Bogle. So Bogle's not going to have much chance of fight. Somehow, even for a, a, a bigger guy, a taller guy in motocross. When I say taller guy, he's probably 5'10". But uh, <laughs> we watched him putting in fast laps and qualifying. He gets on the gas early. Midway yeah. through the corner, he's already on the throttle again. Yeah, he's he's just on the gas. And he's, at least since I've really been focusing and watching racing, is the Europeans have typically been better at cornering, technique into it. So 
the playing field is very even for all these guys as far as you know, their strengths and weaknesses. One incident at Redbud, second moto there, first lap. And Baggett ended up on the ground. Here is Herlings in third. Man, he is coming. He's yeah. going to be going. Did you see the race? I won the first one. And then second one, I went down. I came through the whole pack. I just... It was all Could be another KTM sweep in these motos. These guys were top three in the first race earlier today. And some people... I'm going to say yes, because <laughs> I'm watching right now. He looks so strong, and his corner speed is phenomenal. And that's uh, what he is probably a mile or two an hour quicker through every corner than everyone else at that, you know. And he has caught Baggett in a hurry. Man. And now we are down to two minutes and two laps left. This is the first time he's ever raced in this series. A lot of different things to adjust to and get used to. And he just pulled the trigger. That was just rude right there. He's, he's got a thumb injury, but Hurling's just showing a little bit of a... Uh, GP flavor, he laps away. Oh, oh. Moosecan, your leader is down! Moosecan is down. Now, how much of a lead? No, he just went by. Did Hurling just pass it? I was yeah. about to say, where's back? I'm like, oh, he just passed wow. me. Wow! Marvin has thrown it away with a lap and a half remaining. Oh, what? Wow. He, he looked like he totally had that same winner in Lucas Oil Pro Motocross. The 22 year old Dutchman. For sure, Marvin knows he has to win the moto to have any chance of the title. Now, what? No, he knows that. Yeah. yeah so he doesn't get frustrated. <laughs> yeah, he's absolutely flying. Hurling's just running the pace that he used to come from pretty much last to come all the way to now first place. Yeah, I think Marvin just wants to win this moto and win the overall, regardless of whatever else happens in the U.S. A week before next weekend's World Grand Prix of the USA in Florida, they threw a few of Hurling's parts on there. Runs different tires, for example. Runs the Pirellis instead of the Dunlops. Sweep it in, go 1-1. One, one. Marvin's trying, though. Yeah, it's not from a lack of trying. He's come out, really put on the show for the fans, oh, yeah. for all of us. He's made it entertaining. Marvin's still put the pressure on, but the problem is, time has pretty much expired. Oh, Marvin is doing everything he can. Cross. He goes 1-1 one, one at the Ironman National. And Marvin Muscan is going to come up short. Man, I was so pissed at myself. When I crashed for the start and I had to start that last second mode, I was like, no way. I just kept charging and I fight my way back all the way to first. Now, I was a bit lucky, but Marvin and I had a small crash. Doesn't matter, I had a 1-1 one, one, and I showed I was the fastest guy in track, 100%. Free Hurlings taking the first overall of his ever first pro race in the USA.